Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. Today we are going to do a comparison again. What are to be compared? We put all the natural numbers which only consist of the digits 1 and 2 in a set. Such as 111, 1121, 2121, 22, and so on. There is a variable named digit sum, whose value is the summation of all the digits of a given number. For example, the digital sum of 1121 is 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1, which equals 5. We denote the number of all those elements in this set, whose digit sum equals n, as s of n. For example, s of 3 is equal to 3. Because there are three numbers whose digit sum is 3 in this set, namely 111, 12, and 21. The first number in our comparison today is s of 6 times 20, 22, which is the number of all those elements in this set whose digit sum equals 6 times 2022. 20, the other one is 10 to the 2022nd power. Which one is bigger? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Let's first take a look at what s of n is, or in other words, how many there are numbers with the digit sum as n. If all the digits are 1, it will be an n digit number. And there is only one possibility. If there is only one digit being 2, it is an n minus 1 digit number. Meaning that we need to select one place out of total n minus 1 for the digit 2, and leave all the others for the digits 1. So this is a typical combination problem. The number of possibilities is n minus 1. If there are two digits being 2, it is an n minus 2 digit number. And you need to select two places for the digits 2. So the number of possibilities in this case is n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3, and then divided by 2 times 1. The next one is n minus 3 times n minus 4 times n minus 5, then divide by 3 times 2 times 1. Until when? Well, it depends on whether n is even or odd. Since 6 times 20 22 is even, so we only consider the case when n is even for now. Then there are maximal half n digits that can be 2. And there is only one such case. If we calculate according to the aforementioned formula, it is n minus half n, times n minus half n minus 1, all the way until 1, divided by half n, times half n minus 1, also all the way till 1. The numerator and denominator are the same so it is indeed 1. By adding up all these numbers of possibilities, we will finally obtain s of n. Now let's check the result, by studying the case of n being 4. There is only one possibility in the first case, which is 1111. The second case has n minus 1, meaning three possibilities, they are, 112, 121, and 211. The third case has 2 times 1 and n divided by 2 times 1, meaning also one possibility, and it is 22. So there are 5 in total. If n is equal to 6, the first case still has one possibility. That is 111,111. The second case has 5 possibilities. They are 21,111, 12,111, 11,211, 11,121 and 11,112. The third case has 4 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 times 1, which equals to 6 possibilities. They are 2211, 2121, 2112, 1221, 1212, and 1122. The fourth case still has 1 possibility, which is 222. So there are 13 possibilities in total. But, it's still too difficult if we really want to calculate s of 6 times 2022. 20, However this question itself already gives a hint. Because it asks about 6 times 2022, 20, rather than its result 12132. So, what if we don't use 2022? 20, How about if we use another number to replace 2022? 20, For instance, if we want to know which is bigger between s of 6 times 110 to the 100th power? Or in a more extreme case, which one is bigger between s of 6 times 1, and 10 to the first power? Well, we have already had the answer of this. Since s of 6 is equal to 13, it is bigger than 10. 
So if we can prove that when n is equal to 12, s of 12 is bigger than 100, we may find the idea of how to find the final answer. s of 12 isn't a small number either, but if we can prove that s of 12 is not smaller than s of 6 times s of 6, it would be enough to prove that s of 12 is bigger than 100. What does s of 6 times s of 6 mean? It means that there are two sets, each of which consists of those numbers with digit sum being 6. We may randomly select one from the first set, and one from the second set, and connect them in order to form a new number. S of 6 times S of 6 exactly describes the number of possibilities of such new numbers over there. For example, if we select 1212 from the first set, and take 222 from the second set, so the combination is 1212222. We find that, the digit sum of such a new number must equal 12. In addition, because we can cut this new number off in such a way that the summation of the digits before the cutting point is 6, there will be no way to have duplication in the set of those new numbers. That is to say, those s of 6 times s of 6 numbers, form a subset of those s of 12 numbers, whose digits sum are 12. And in fact it is a proper subset. Because not all the number whose digit sums are 12 can be cut off in such a way that the sum of the digits before the cutting point is 6. We show an example here, which is 1,222,122. If we cut after the first three digits 122, their summation is 5. And if we then cut after 1222, and the summation becomes 7. So we know that S of 12 is bigger than S of 6 times S of 6. For the same reason, for any natural number m bigger than 1, s of 6 times m is bigger than s of 6 to the mth power. s of 6 is equal to 13. So it is bigger than 10 to the mth power. When m is equal to 2022, we obtain that, s of 6 times 2022 is bigger than 10 to the 2022nd power. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.